Hey there guys, bye bye to you here, and well, I was just kind of messing around on paint, I really hope that didn't crash UCAM, um, oh hey, that's cool, okay, anyways, um, no it didn't, okay, so, I figured that I would kind of brush over, kind of, well, basically everything of paint, so, I guess we should start with the basics. Um, you can use the pencil to draw lines. Well, all of the tools is what we're starting with. Sorry. Okay, so pencils can draw lines in any way that you want. So just kind of like that. Curl or Control and Z undoes all of that. Also, something kind of cool is if I'm drawing. Okay. And let's just say that I want to connect this over here, but then without letting go, if I don't like how it looks, then all I need to do is right click and it will stop the thing that I'm doing. Also, another thing that you can do, you can choose which colors you have. So like, let's just say the first one is red and that was color one. So if I click on color two and click on, I don't know, blue, then what I can do is if I right click, this is blue. If I left click, this is red. So something kind of neat. Anyways, um, yeah, getting into more of the tools now. Um, this one fills the whole area that it can. So like, let's just say that I want to make all of the outside of this red. Boom. That easy. So, yeah, I don't know why that didn't work. Oh, yeah, I actually do. Anyways, so, yeah. You can type. Let's just say. Oh, wow, that. Right, that's what I had it on earlier. Um, like, let's just do, like, 25. Yeah, you have to highlight it to change it. We're going to try 50, actually, because it does it pretty small. Okay, ball point pen. Okay. Oh, I was in caps lock. Whoops. Okay. So now, once I've clicked off of that, you can't see it right now. Oh, by the way, there's this little zoom in thing. So if we zoom in on this, we can kind of see that there's a little bit. Oh, I'll, I'll zoom in a lot more. Okay. Um, we can kind of see that it isn't just straight red, so like, that is, but then like, if I draw over here and over here, you can more easily, I guess, maybe, tell, you know, that this part is kind of pinkish. It kind of fades the foreground color, the or the letter color, I mean, into the background color. And it also kind of adds a little bit of a 3D effect. So then if we zoom out again, it's it just it makes it look a lot better. So it's really cool. So yeah. Anyways, so there's that. Then the eraser. The eraser. I'm going to change it back to white because the eraser. It's a certain size. Unless you change it, I'm going to show you how in a minute. And it basically changes all of the pixels that you drag your mouse with to whatever you would do with the right click so like let's just say that my the color is gray now it's gonna be gray that it draws with now the reason that it's like this is your default colors are black for color one and white for color two so then it, you can erase by just doing that however you could just um, take the pencil and right click but this is a lot faster so that's kinda why they added it in anyways so now this is the size so you can make this a smaller one it's a lot smaller of an eraser like that's the size of that one that's the smallest size and this is the biggest size also you can do it you can do it with any of these so that's the smallest size and that's the biggest size so you know you can that's actually 
all that you can do for size except for the shapes you can oh and brushes never mind all of the tools those are the only tool two tools that you can use for shapes or for size differences um this is called the color picker and like let's just say okay i'm just gonna edit a random color boom add to custom colors that's my color okay so like let's just say that i fill that in and then if i exit out save it um yeah and then okay i'm at five minutes i go into where it is um what i can do now is let's just say that i realize oh this color oh i messed it up hold on this color would look really good inside of this o okay so let's just say that i want to make the whole inside of the o this color this green all i have to do is hit the color picker click on it click on the fill thing and then I have that as my color so it's really interesting so yeah um and then the final tool is the zoom it zooms into a certain place that you want so like it'll just it'll zoom in exactly where it is but it can only zoom in so much so yeah you can also um scroll with your um scroll key or whatever scroll key um middle mouse or whatever yeah so it's kind of cool those are all of the tools now the brushes there are a bunch of them i'm not actually sure what most of them do but at the same time i kind of do so like here let's zoom in and then make the size the biggest one let's put it to this red one okay so if i do this with the regular paint brush it it's kind of like the letters how it like fades into the color so that's kind of cool like let's just say that I kinda wanna do that it will fade this part will fade ah sorry um this part will fade into the well this part will fade into the black and this part will fade into the green so it's kinda cool like that um the other ones I really have oh yeah that's right okay so this does the same thing except it's in a different shape. Oh, and by the way, I'm only clicking once. Like, I'm clicking and I'm not dragging when I do that. But, so this is slanted. Okay? This is slanted the other direction. So, yeah. I do remember that. Spray paint, or sprayer, let's just set the size to like that. Okay? So that's just one. Yeah, so it sprays in random pixels, a random amount of pixels, but then if you hold it down for long enough, it will fill in the whole area. So like, I don't know, it's, you could you could use it to do freckles, like, um, circle, and then that, just kind of like freckles, I know that's like terrible... You know, whatever, I, I, mouth, I'm derpy. Yeah, I'm derpy. Anyways. Um, oh, yeah, and you can only undo so many times. Um, this one, oh, that one, um, it kind of, uh, it kind of puts a little bit of a screen, in a way, above what it is. Okay, so it's just kind of like, if you want to make something that looks kind of like painted, it's like, this would be, it's kind of like brush strokes, that's what it is. Oil brush, okay. And then it has like markers, so it like, it's kind of like the spray paint and the, um, uh, oil paint mixed together. Although something that I should note, you can hear me clicking. And it doesn't do anything. You have to click and then drag a few pixels, and then it'll pick it up. So yeah, that's kind of annoying, but whatever. Okay, um, marker, marker. Oh, marker's like a. 
complete sh window over it or whatever. That's kind of cool. So like boom, and then boom, boom. That's cool. Okay. Anyways, um, there's a pencil kind of one, a colored pencil. So it's like a really light kind of windshield over it. And then the last one, uh, just kind of. Oh, it kind of fades into. So like if I go like that, it fades in and fades out. So like let's just do oh that doesn't work. Okay. It kind of fades into it everywhere, and it also fades out if you're depending on how you're looking. It's so like I could just do that and it kind of fades in and fades out. Kinda evenly. It's kinda cool. I gotta check my time. Oh, well I guess we're having two parts to this. Um, this has been how to use paint on Windows, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Peace out.